Hey everyone, welcome to my review of the Dobby the House Elf 6 scale figure by Star Ace. Alright, first up, packaging. Um, the packaging for Dobby the House Elf follows the same aesthetic as previous offerings in the Harry Potter line from Star Race. It looks really good. If you're, if you're the type of collector who prefers to display your collectibles on a shelf in the box, you'll be quite pleased. It looks it looks really, really solid and they'll look very, very fine together. But I'm not that kind of collector, so let's, let's get this guy open and see what he can do. Um, right off, Right out of the gate, I should probably point out that this figure has very few points of articulation. It's, um, I think that it's meant to be primarily an accent piece or just something to complement other figures in the line. But that's not even necessary, really. I mean, just looking at him right here, he'd make a fine display piece all on his own. Uh, there's no real need to pair him with anything. If, uh, if you were to have just one figure from the Star Ace Harry, Potter's line, Harry Potter line, I think this would be a fine one. Um, just look at him. He's adorable, and he comes with all kinds of accessories. You've got the knife, which I don't know why, what sicko would want to have that displayed with him. Um, there's a uh, basilisk fang. Uh, there's an alternate arm for a different pose. Uh, there's a little bit of a flash effect, a magical effect, to uh, insert into his snapping fingers there. And then there's Tom Riddle's diary. And yes, the basilisk fang does fit into the diary. So, yeah, plenty of... Uh, Accessories to make it interesting. Oh, yeah, and of course, there's also the sock. So if you wanted to free your house elf, you'd have the opportunity to do that. Oh, watch out. Earthquakes here in California. Um, okay, so posing. Again, counting one, two, three, four, five, six points of articulation. Uh, so it's your posing options are going to be minimal. So it's all going to be a, have to be about expressing attitude and trying to just suggest the character of Dobby the house elf. Um just try to mimic his posture as best you can, given um, given the limitations of those six points of articulation. And it can be done. Um, it's just a, a tilt of the head, uh, lean the figure's upper torso a little bit forward, just give him that that slouch that, uh, that suggests servitude, his posture of servitude. Um, it's really quite adorable when you just do those little things. And as I'll show here in um, the upcoming photo gallery, there are other things that you can do to suggest interaction with other characters or to suggest um, or recall rather a specific scene. And you don't even have to limit yourself to screen accuracy, to be honest. I mean, I've done it in my first real pose here where I've, you know, there we have Dobby clicking his fingers and making magic happen. But by just taking your time and studying the figure, just making small adjustments, little tweaks here and there, eventually you'll come up with something pretty charming. It's not that difficult to do. Just standing there, even with no adjustments to it, no posing done whatsoever, this is an adorable figure. It's very much evocative, reminiscent of the uh, charm that Dobby expresses on screen. And I'm glad to have it in my collection. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all the next time. Thanks very much.